Good morning, good morning, and praise be to God. God bless you guys, and welcome to the morning Bible reading with Victoria Cherie. Praise the Lord. And I plead the blood of Jesus over this live audio. I plead the blood of Jesus over every listener. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. So praise God. So yesterday, we've covered uh, the book of John, chapter 2. And this morning, we will be in the book of John, chapter 3. Praise the Lord in Jesus' name. Just giving you guys a heads up. So it's about 36 scriptures. There was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. The same came to Jesus by night and said unto him, Rabbi, we know that thou art a teacher come from God. For no man can do these miracles that thou doest except God be with him. Praise the Lord. Jesus answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Praise the Lord. So we're going to go on to verse 4. Praise the Lord. Good morning, Sister V. God bless you. In Jesus' name. Verse 4, chapter 3 in the book of John. Nicodemus said, saith unto him, how can a man be born when he is old? Can he enter the second time into his mother's womb and be born? Jesus answered, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except a man be born of water and of the spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. That which is born of the flesh is flesh, and that which is born of the spirit is spirit. Marvel not that I said unto thee, ye must be born again. The wind bloweth where it listeth, and thou hearest the sound thereof, but canst not tell whence it cometh, and whither it goeth. So is every one that is born of the Spirit. Verse 9, Nicodemus answered and said unto him, How can these things be? Jesus answered and said unto him, and said unto him, Art thou a master of Israel, and knowest not these things? Verily, verily, I say unto thee, We speak that we do know, and testify that we have seen, and ye receive not our witness. If I have told you earthly things, and ye believe not, how shall ye believe if I tell you of heavenly things? And no man hath ascended up to heaven, but he that came down from heaven, even the Son of Man which is in heaven. And as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, even so must the Son of Man be lifted up. That whosoever believeth in him shall, should not perish, but have eternal life. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world should, but that the world through him might be saved. Praise the Lord. Verse 18. He that believeth on him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already because he hath not believed in the name of the Lord, in the name of the only begotten Son of God. Lord Jesus, help my words on this morning. Praise the Lord. Verse 19. And this is the condemnation that light is come into the world and men loved darkness rather than light because their deeds were evil for every one that doeth evil hateth the light neither cometh to the light lest his deeds should be reproved but he that doeth truth cometh to the light that his deeds may be made manifest that they are wrought in God praise the lord and verse 22 after these things came Jesus and his disciples into the land of Judea, and there he tarried with them and baptized. And John also was baptizing in Anan, near to Salem, because there was much water there, and they came and were baptized. For John was not yet cast into prison. Then there arose a question between some of John's disciples and the Jews about purifying 
And they came unto John and said unto him, Rabbi, he that was with thee beyond Jordan, to whom thou bearest witness, behold, the same baptizeth, and all men come to him. John answered and said, A man can receive nothing except it be given him from God, from heaven. Praise the Lord. Verse 28, Ye yourselves bear me witness that I said, I am not the Christ, but that I am sent before him. He that hath the bride is the bridegroom. But the friend of the bridegroom, which standeth and heareth him, rejoiceth greatly because of the bridegroom's voice. This, my joy, therefore, is fulfilled. He must increase, but I must decrease. Praise the Lord. He that cometh from above is above all. He that is of the earth is earthly and speaketh of the earth, but not but he that cometh from heaven is above all. So that's verse 31. I'm going to reread that again. Praise the Lord. He that cometh from above is above all. He that is of the earth is earthly and speaketh of the earth. He that cometh from heaven is above all all praise the lord verse 32 and what he hath seen and heard that he testified and no man receiveth his testimony he that hath received his testimony hath set to his seal that god is true for he whom god hath sent speaketh the words of god for god giveth not the spirit by measure unto him the father loveth the son and hath given all things into his hands. And the last verse, praise the Lord, is verse 36. He that believeth on the son hath everlasting life. And he that believeth not, the son shall not see life. But the wrath of God abideth on him. Praise be to God and the word of the Lord is blessed on this morning. Praise the Lord Jesus. Okay, so we were in the book of John chapter 3. Speaking about God, the everlasting life, speaking about being born again, praise the Lord. And to speak about that, we're going to go back to verse three, where the Lord says, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. But praise the Lord. What does that mean? And there's a lot of, um, let's see. He basically said you can't enter the kingdom of heaven without being born again, without being baptized in the Holy Spirit, receiving the Holy Spirit. And uh, John was speaking about how when he was baptizing, um, he was baptizing just by water. But when we're baptized by Jesus, he's baptizing us in his spirit. And that's the whole reason why he had to go away. He had to be sent away because the comforter had to be sent. That's the Holy Ghost. That's the Holy Spirit. And, you know, we can't enter into heaven by our flesh. We have to enter into heaven because it's a spiritual place. It's a spiritual atmosphere. So our spirits will be what will be entering into heaven. Praise the Lord. So everything that's going on in this earth in this world that's happening now would not be able to ascend into heaven. It's it. He spit, he spoke about it. That's what it is. And God's word is true and does not return back to him void. So praise the Lord. So just as, um, Nicodemus had asked the question, like, how is that even possible? Like Lord Jesus. So if you had that question, don't feel bad because even Nicodemus, he had the same question. Like, how is that even possible? Lord Jesus. How can we be born again? Um, that was one of the ruler of Jews. And Jesus even asked him, how can you be master of all things and don't even know that? Praise the Lord. So if you don't know, praise the Lord. Now you know. <laughs> and if you want to read and gain more understanding, ask the Lord to give you um, a clear understanding, help you to understand his word. And he trust and believe he would just, he would do just that. And we're in the book of John chapter three, praise the Lord. And we're going to go ahead and carry in when Nicodemus was asking this question, verse four, when he said, how can a man be born when he is old? Can he enter the second time into his mother's womb and be born? And Jesus came back and replied from uh, verses, uh, scriptures five through eight. 
Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except a man be born of water and of the spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. That which is born of the flesh is flesh, and that which is born of the spirit is spirit. Marvel not that I said unto thee, ye must be born again. He said, marvel not. The wind bloweth where it listeth, and thou hearest the sound thereof, but canst not tell whence it cometh, and whether it goeth. So is every one that is born of the spirit. And Nicodemus answered and said unto him, How can these things be? And that was a conversation between him and the Lord because he really didn't understand. And I thank God that when you don't understand something, just ask the Lord and wait on his answer for he will give you the answer that you need. But we have to wait. We have to be still. We have to be quiet. And we have to wait on the Lord to speak, to answer those questions that we do have. He didn't get upset with Nicodemus. He answered with love. So I thank God for showing his patience with Nicodemus, praise the Lord, and explaining that. But the most important thing that we need to take out of this chapter is that the Lord says that, you know, unless you are born again by in with the spirit, the Holy Spirit, you will not be able to enter into, I mean, um, unless you are, um, unless you are born again. So you have to be born again in order to make it into the kingdom of heaven. Let me just say it like that. Cause I was almost confused myself. Lord Jesus. Ooh, the devil is a lie. Early this morning, Jesus, I believe the blood of Jesus over everything. So praise the Lord. So that's the most important thing that we must be born again in order to enter into the kingdom of heaven. Praise the Lord. Amen. So I want to make sure I said that correctly, Lord Jesus. You got some people up here that's, you know, they'll mock you everywhere, Lord Jesus. <laughs> Praise the Lord. So we're going to go all the way down. So it's basically this chapter is speaking about being born again, having everlasting life, living with the Lord and believeth in him, Lord Jesus, and those who and those who choose not to believe that the son. Um. Those who, what did it say? The last verse, he that believeth on the son hath everlasting life. And he that believeth not the son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abideth on him. Praise the Lord. So clearly it says, praise the Lord, <laughs> sister V. <laughs> yeah, I'm up here like, Lord Jesus, I had to, you know, I had to make sure I get that right. Praise the Lord. Um, so verse 36, it says that he that believes in the son have everlasting life. So if you believe in the Lord Jesus, you will have everlasting life. If you believe that the Lord God um, gave us and sent down his only begotten son to die for all of our sins. He did not come down here to condemn us, but he came to save the world. Praise the Lord. And to help us with our sins. Praise the Lord. To save us, to give us grace because God knew that we needed help. Praise the Lord. Jesus. So the Lord came down for us. Jesus died on the cross for all of us, for our sins. So just as the Lord Jesus is not here to condemn us, but to save us from our sins, praise the Lord. We as children of God, as disciples, as servants of the Lord should be not, uh, should be not Lord Jesus. Help me with my words this morning, Lord Father. We should not condemn or judge one another, but we should be able to show the love of God to all love continuously because remember the Lord's love, God's love covers a multitude of sins. So just as he had saved you out of your mess and did it with the love of God, he did not condemn you. We should be doing that the same for our brothers and sisters. Praise the Lord, no matter what it is. Amen. Praise be to God. So good morning, Tasha. Praise the Lord, Sister Tasha. And praise the Lord, Sister Sabrina. God bless you guys this morning. In Jesus' name. Hey, good morning, Terrence. I see you listening. Praise the Lord. And God bless you <laughs> this morning. In Jesus' name. So let me see. I'm going to go and make sure I covered everything that the Lord wanted me to speak about. Praise the Lord. There was. Oh. Praise the Lord. Well, we're going to go back to verse 30. I used to say this all the time. Once I realized I understood what it meant because I was always getting in my way. Um, verse 30, he said, he must increase. He must increase, but I must decrease. Praise the Lord. 
And he, the verse 34, he that cometh from above is above all. He that is of the earth is earthly and speaketh of the earth. But he that cometh from heaven is above all. Praise the Lord. So verse 30, what it says, speak about he must increase, but I must decrease. Lord Jesus. So the Lord must increase in me. But I can also increase myself. Like it's, it got to be one or the other. Because when, if you're trying to increase yourself while the Lord is, the, while the Lord is increased in you, um, you're going to get in God's way. That's just simple. Okay. And I know in my, in my life, I always got in God's way. I felt like the problem child. Like the Lord was like, let me do this. And I, <laughs> and I was trying to do, you know, not really intentionally trying to do him, you know, but I was trying to create things to happen. I was trying to. Um, you know, cause things to, I thought that was just the thing to do. Like, you know how people say, you know, girl, I got a backup plan for the backup plan. Praise the Lord. That was me. I had a backup plan for the backup plan. And then if that backup plan didn't work, I had like a, a sub backup plan. Praise the Lord. But then still said I was trusting in the Lord and this, that, nothing. Mm-mm, Lord Jesus, like God is my backup plan. I've learned He's humbled me. You don't want God to humble you because Lord Jesus, it don't feel that good at all. But um, yes, the Lord had to humble me um, because I was trying to create and make things happen on my own. And then when they blew up in my face, then I was like, Lord, what happened? (laughs) And then I really um, had to step out of the situation and ask the Lord to help me see myself and how I was stubborn. And I just had to have in my way. I had to be, I was very controlling and manipulative in my own life and situations and wonder why I was still going around in a circle and not into a straight path and not going forward. Cause I kept setting my own stuff back because I kept getting in God's way. So I had to allow the Lord to <sighs> increase in me and I had to decrease and it's a must. It's not no, like you must, you have to do this because if not, you're going to cause yourself to not allow the fullness of the Lord to, to come in and do what he needs to do on the inside. Okay. On the inside, I'm not speaking, I'm not just speaking about the outside things. I'm talking about inside and the Lord comes in and whatever it is that you're dealing with inside, rather it be your heart, Issues, matters of the heart. I always speak about matters of the heart because issues of the heart can can come from all over, the, all over the place. If you got someone that's speaking evil or negative, it's it's not just in their mind; it's in their heart. What it's what comes out of a, a man that defiles him is not what comes in. So there's issues of the heart. There's things that people are dealing with: addictions, um, you know, deep desires, thoughts, any type of thing that leads you to sin. That comes from the inside out. So I just thank the Lord that he helped me to see that I really had to, you know, decrease. I, it was a must that I had to decrease because in order for the Lord to, can, to can take full control, I really had to release. I had to surrender my all to God so that he can do the work that he is continually doing. So I praise the Lord. So If there's anyone out there that's listening on this morning, I pray that God gave you a word on this morning. I know that every morning I receive a word and I share it with you guys because it's a blessing. I know if I receive the word, I know someone else out there has gone through or is going through and need to hear the word of the Lord on this morning. Praise be to God. So let's just take away on this morning is that in order to enter into the kingdom of heaven, we have to be born again. With the Holy Spirit, praise the Lord Jesus, and that we have to continue to allow the Lord to have full control, meaning that we can't give him halfway control and then look and then turn back around and say, what happened? Until we completely surrender to God and allow him to have all control until we give him our hearts and allow the Lord to increase. God must increase so that and but we must decrease. Praise the Lord. I pray that we all humble ourselves because if we allow the Lord to humble us, it's not a good feeling. Praise the Lord Jesus. And I, I didn't like that, um, that, uh, preparation, but God is good. Praise the Lord. And I, I thank the Lord for helping me with that, um, in its entirety, because that's not a good look when you're trying to 
control situations and you're also saying that you got, you know, you're allowing God to do it and, you know, things just don't connect well. It don't work out well. So I thank the Lord for helping me to see that and just continue to allow him to do him because, you know, God is above all things. Praise the Lord. I only can, I'm only able to see what's in front of me. Praise the Lord. Uh, you know, God can see from our beginning to our end. He can see the stumbling blocks. He can see what's ahead. So I'd rather, I'd rather put my trust in the Lord. Amen. <laughs> Amen. I've learned my lesson, Lord God. And I pray that was a blessing to someone on this morning that continue to press forward, continue to trust in God, continue to allow him to do the work. And trust me, don't get frustrated with yourself. I know when I was coming to the Lord a couple of times, yes, Lord, I was coming to God a couple of times, praise the Lord. Um, I wanted to be, I wanted my stuff that was like, you know, the sin that I was in, the desires that I was dealing with, the routine things that I was dealing with. I wanted those things to be gone. And then sometimes, I, you know, I'll be in the situation to where I'm like sitting there and I, those thoughts will come up or I'll be in the atmosphere where the things that I wanted the Lord to deliver me from was still trying to pull at me. Right. And I would try to like, I would, you know, it would get a little frustrated. Like, Lord, why? I thought this was gone away. I want this to be gone. You know, I don't want to be like this. Or, Lord Jesus, I know this is not right. We have to allow time. We have to allow time and allow the Lord to work those things out of us. Right? Come as you are. You know, I used to say, oh, I'm not going to. This time, I'm, I'm going to try to get right before I come to the Lord. Well, if we get our own selves right... Will we need God? Just think about that. Like, if you're able to get your own self right, then then you won't need God. So we do. We all need Christ. The Lord came down here now for those who got it all together. He came for those who needed him, those who were sick, those who were sinning, those who need deliverance. That's what he came for. So why would we say, I got to get myself right before I get to God. No, that's what you, that's why you need to go to him so he can get you right. And it's going to take a pro it's going to take some time and you have to allow that time. You have to allow the Lord to do the work and then that he's preparing you. Yeah. It may not, it's not, it may not come overnight, even though we serve an overnight God, even though we serve a right now, God, if it doesn't come when you want it to trust and believe and have faith that you will be delivered. Praise the Lord. And continue to keep pressing. Don't get so down on yourself. Just keep pressing because God's love covered a multitude of sin. He's going to love it right out of you. Praise the Lord. And I can speak on that. He did it for me. He can do it for you. Praise the Lord. He did it for Paul. And he thought that he was the worst of the worst. He condemned and killed Christians. Praise the Lord. Just think about it. Everybody that served the Lord. <laughs> everybody that served the Lord and lifted, and lifted him up. They all had problems. They had all had issues. And God, what did he do? He loved it out of them. So praise the Lord. We got to come to God with all of our mess. He's there with open arms. Do not allow the enemy to tell you that you got to get yourself right in order to come to God. That's a lie from the pits of hell. And I, I ask the Lord to bind the hand of the enemy. If that thought is rolling in someone's mind or heart on this morning, the devil is a lie. In Jesus name, come to God just as you are. And he still loves you. So I thank God for allowing me to continue to come to him every day, just as I am, as he continue to work everything out of me, because I don't care who you are. You have not arrived until you made it into the gates of heaven. Every day is a day is a chance for you to be better than you were on yesterday. Every day. Praise the Lord, you know, repenting every day because I don't, I just don't care who you are. Every day we got to repent something, rather it's a thought or something, Lord Jesus, but give it to God. He will help you because what our purpose, our goal is to make it into heaven and to have everlasting life. We want to live a righteous life. We want to be holy, live holy, think holy, talk holy. Lord Jesus. And the only way we able to do that is with God's help because he is holy. 
Praise the Lord. So I thank God for the word on this morning. I thank the Lord for always speaking to my spirit and I receive the word for myself. And I pray that someone else out there was able to be blessed and receive a word from God. And as I encourage you guys, I want you guys to go ahead and read. Go ahead and read the book of John chapter three and ask the Lord to give you understanding and begin to build your personal relationship with God. And if you don't understand the word of God, just ask him. Eventually, the Lord will bring it to your understanding. He will give you clarity. He did the same thing for me. When I opened the Bible, I really didn't understand what I was reading. I thought something was wrong with me. I said, Lord Jesus, what is this? Is something wrong with me? I'm not understanding what this stuff says. But that was the beginning of me building my relationship with God. And eventually, he started to show me and give me understanding of his word. And it was a blessed day because I show I was getting happy. I was like, oh, Lord, I thought it meant one thing in the natural mind. And actually it was something different that he revealed to me in the spirit. So I thank God for that. And I encourage for you guys to do the same. Praise the Lord. God bless y'all. And as I do every morning, I'd like to extend an invite to everyone. Praise the Lord to come and listen to the word of God going forth every day, seven days a week at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. With my ministry, La Lock Ministry, which stands for Locked in the Liberty of Christ Ministries, which is on the leadership of my pastor, Pastor Jimmy Griffith. He comes forth every day, you guys, and you can do so by dialing in at 773-922-8270. Again, the number is 773-922-8270. And mind you guys, it's not a recording. This is live in Jesus name. Praise the Lord. So thank you all for coming and listening and receiving the word of God. I pray that you receive the word of God and that you heard the word of God being read and going forth in Jesus name. God bless you. Laverne. I hope I, I hope I said your name right. Good morning to you and God bless you as well in Jesus name. All right, y'all. Who that was a lot. I'm not even going to lie. Praise the Lord Jesus. And thank you, Lord, for helping me to get through it um, on this morning. So tomorrow morning, if it is the Lord's will, I'll be back again in the book of John chapter four. Praise the Lord. And I pray that everybody have a blessed and prosperous day on today. I believe what's today. I got my days mixed up. Lord, I was about to say bless Wednesday. Today is Thursday. <laughs> Praise the Lord. So. <laughs> I just thank God. You can tell I got so much going on, right? Um, praise the Lord. So I just thank the Lord. I pray that we all have a blessed and prosperous Thursday on this morning and that the Lord continues to give us all traveling grace and mercy, that he continues, Lord Jesus, to transform our minds. And I plead the blood of Jesus so all of, over all of our families and friends and our children on this day. And Father God, I ask you to continue to bind the hand of the enemy over our minds, over the, those who are confused, Lord Jesus, or going through depression or suicidal thoughts. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord God, we cancel that out right now on this morning with the authority that you have given us, O oh Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord God, we ask you to place more love in our hearts, Lord God, and that you continue to search our hearts for the things that we don't even know that's in there and continue to fill us up, Lord God. And I pray that those who are not filled with your precious Holy Spirit, that they will begin to seek you, Lord God, and receive you. And those who do, Lord God, we pray for a refilling in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we pray on this morning. Amen. Praise the Lord. God bless you guys. And I will be back on tomorrow if it's the Lord's will. Amen.